glass fusers. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to draw designs on the computer. This is the Glass Eye 2000. To draw over an image, I go to File, Add Backdrop, select a picture, open it, and then at this point it'll ask me if I want to change the size of the background properties, which I'm going to leave this as it is for today. Then I go to OK, and then it brings in the image of the strawberry. Now if I hit the Enter key, it fills the screen with that image. Now I'm going to go to the Curve tool and trace around the strawberry. Now the nice thing about this program is you can bring in intricate designs, trace over them, simplify them, and then work them into your, into your artwork. Now when I come back to the original knot, I double click to complete the line. Now I'm using these leaves as inspiration, but I've decided I want to draw my own because I want them a little bit bigger and I want them to kind of overlap on top of the strawberry. So I'm kind of going to draw my own leaves here. There we go. And we'll draw the third one over here. And there we have our three leaves. Now I'm going to go to Edit, Select All, go to the Pick Tool, and move this image off to the side. Then I'm going to click the Enter key and click off the strawberry to look at, this, at the shape and size of it and make sure that I like it. I can grab any of these little knots and I can make adjustments to the size and shape of the strawberry just by pulling on them or pushing on them. Now I'm going to go over to the Add Knot tool and wherever lines intersect, I'm going to add a knot. What this does is it will enable me to remove any of these unwanted lines. Now I'm going to go to the pick tool and make a few little adjustments here. Then I'm going to grab these lines, these unwanted lines, highlight them, hit the delete key and remove them from my design. All right, I'm satisfied with this strawberry. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the background. I go over to file, remove background. It's asking me if I want to remove it. I say yes. And then I'm going to hit the Enter key, which centers the strawberry in my workspace. Now I'm going to go over to Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy, click off the strawberry, Edit, Paste, and make a second copy of the strawberry and move it to the side. Now I'm going to right-click, Paste, make a third copy of the strawberry and move it to this side. Now I'm going to hit the Enter key, which centers everything in my workspace. I'm going to highlight this strawberry on this side, and I'm going to make it smaller. So we're going to go to Modify Resize. We're going to make it 2 inches instead of 2.4. Then we're going to Modify Rotate right here. And we're going to rotate that strawberry to make a nice, cute little cluster. Now I'm going to go to my Pick Tool, grab the strawberry, and bring it nice and tight to the original one. I'm going to take this strawberry over here. I'm going to modify it and make it smaller. So we're going to resize. We're going to make this one 1.75. OK. And we're going to rotate that strawberry by Modify, Rotate, put a little twist into it, grab it with the Pick tool, and move it in nice and tight to that first strawberry. Now I'm going to do the minus key a few times to back out of the design. I'm going to highlight all these strawberries. I'm going to do Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste to make a second set of strawberries that I can use at a later date. Now I'm going to hit the Enter key. And I like to do this because if I do anything to damage these strawberries or, you know, one of, they get lost somehow, I have this set as backup I can always revert, refer to. Now I'm going to move my screen over slightly. I'm going to hit the minus key a few, te a few times to back out. Then I'm going to go over here to draw. I'm going to draw a small square. And then I'm going to take my pick tool. I'm going to highlight that square. Go to modify, resize, and I'm going to change the size of the square from 2 inches to 6 inches. And now I have a six inch square. I'm going to grab my strawberries by highlighting them, using my pick tool to bring them closer, and I'm going to hit the enter key so that everything is tighter and closer and easier to see. Now I want this to be a six inch plate, and I want to put these strawberries in a nice little backdrop that looks like a tablecloth. So I'm highlighting all four sides of the square, then I go to modify, subdivide, and I want to divide all these sides into four equal parts. So I have number of sides four, I hit OK, and then I have all these little knots that automatically subdivide these things evenly for me. Now I'm going to go to the Curve tool, click on the knot, and basically I'm connecting the dots to make what might look like a country tablecloth on, you know, for a picnic. 
So I'm connecting all these little dots to make my tablecloth design. And it's asking if I want to save my work, which I do. I'm going to get my pick tool. I'm going to grab my straw. Oh, got to go a little bit bigger. Oh, a little bit bigger yet. Oh, come on now. Let's try getting these this set up here. There we go. And I'm going to bring these strawberries in. And I feel like this, this set of strawberries is a little bit too big. So I'm going to bring it back over here. I'm going to hit the minus key a few times to make my workspace a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead over here to modify, resize. I'm going to make this set of strawberries smaller. Right now it's 2.7, so let's just make it 2 and see if we like that. Now I'll do another test. I think that looks nice. I'm going to bring this back over here. And then up here I have the sticky tool on. I want to remove the sticky tool because if I leave it on, when I bring these strawberries in, any of the knots in these strawberries are going to stick to knots that they come in contact with on this little backdrop. So I'm going to decide where I want my strawberries then let them go. Now I'm going to take the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on the strawberries on the background. I'm going to go to add knot tool and wherever I have lines that intersect I'm going to add knots. And what this will enable me to do is remove the lines that are going through the strawberries. So I put some knots in. Now I'm going to go to the pick tool. I'm going to select the lines, the unwanted lines, and then hit the, the delete key to remove them. All right, now I'm going to hit the minus key a few times to back out. I'm going to adjust my screen a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to hit the plus key a few times to come in, adjust the screen a little bit more to get in tight. Now I go up here to this one and this button and show knots, and I click that and it removes the knots so they're not visible and it makes the workspace seem a little bit neater and tidier. Now I think this could use a few more details, so I'm going to go back to the curve tool and I'm going to add a few organic lines that come from the strawberries and kind of model vines that might be coming from these strawberry plants, or these strawberry berries. Now when I make these, I'm going to make them with stringers. I'm going to bend the stringers in a candle. So I'm going to use these as inspiration, but of course when you bend the stringers in the candle, they're going to come out slightly differently, and that's absolutely fine. So the nice thing about this program is once you have taken the time and effort to draw, draw over this one strawberry, you can use it multiple ways for multiple different applications. Here are some examples of different ways to use the strawberries. I was really pleased with the tablecloth design that I had come up with, but then I wanted to do something else, something fun and different with these strawberries. So this one, I made the strawberries look like they're in a little basket. And then the one on the front, on the left hand side, this one, it kind of reminds me of a tablecloth or a napkin design. And then this one, I did a white and bone colored checkerboard in the background to mimic a, a country tablecloth for something you might put down when you're going to have a picnic. So I'm slumping these pieces in these little square molds to give them a little contour and make them have a little curvature that makes them more graceful and a little more attractive on the table. And look at the beautiful colors here. I love the red with the tan background. And here the bone and the white are a really nice, soft, subtle pattern. It really adds to this strawberry design. And then I really like the yellow and blue stripes here. These are stringers and noodles. They really add a nice linear quality to the project. And here are the completed strawberry dishes so you can compare and see how nice that background design has added to that subject matter of the strawberries. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easily you can draw your designs on the computer. Until next time, keep on fusing! You might like some of my full-length videos. They're available on my website. The videos are available as downloads or as DVDs, and I also have eBooks. I want to thank you for all the positive feedback I've been getting on my videos. I'm glad you guys are enjoying them and trying new things. Be sure to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Until next time, happy fusing!